<laughs> this has got to be weird, right? That yes. you're now uh, famous for popping pimples. I'm sure I'm the first one on your show who's been here because of pimple popping. Probably. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I, I did not even imagine this five years ago. How did crazy. you become Dr. Pimple Popper? Four years ago, I started an Instagram page because I'm a dermatologist right. and I wanted to show a little window into my world. And I, early on, I, I, I put up a blackhead extraction video and it got a noticeable in, increase in interest. Like people, people love were, to watch blackheads yeah. be extracted. But I thought that was weird. I didn't know what that was. Oh, you I did? Thought, That's really strange. Let me do it again. I did it again. And it happened again. Uh -huh. And through that, I found that there was this subculture on the internet <laughs> of people who were like sharing popping videos, but they were all, you know, beer cans and dirty fingernails and dogs barking like yeah. in the garage. That's how I, I do thought, it. Yeah. I thought I, could, <laughs> I thought I could be their queen. You did. Like I could, I could do this. And you them. have been crowned their queen. Yeah, it's crazy. And then <laughs> somehow. <laughs> What happened to you as a kid that, what went wrong in your life that led you into this? You know, my dad's a dermatologist. Oh, okay. And so it's like you just kind of get used to it. I was just immune to it because I would see books with people with growths and it just wouldn't bother me. Like when you're I, extracting or however you want it, whatever you want to call yeah. it. First of all, are you wearing a motorcycle helmet at all? I, when yeah, you do this? almost, yeah. pretty much. I yeah. wear a definite splash mask. I wear gloves. If I, if I do that, I'm good. Because mm -hmm. if it gets in your hair, it's sort of like a campfire, you know, when you smell it in your hair for the rest of the day, it's, it's there. So really? you have to take a shower. Yeah. You turn your head and you get a, like a little whiff. So it, you, you make s'mores all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's gross. It's gross. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you know, it, I don't get grossed out because I re it's really important to me that my patients don't feel uncomfortable. You know, that they know that this is a normal thing and I'm not going to like say, oh my God, this is disgusting or this stinks or, you know, like, uh, you know, oops or anything like that. We I would want to like see that. it. That's, that would be my thing. Oh, everybody just, they, everyone, everybody wants to hold it. People want to see what they have. And I think that's sort of taking claim. Like you have control of it after. I think it's weird. Like I, you know, like when you have like a, a body part, like I had my appendix removed, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, at the end of it, I was like, okay, and where will I pick up my appendix? And they're like, yes, yeah. oh, no, you can't have that. And I said, well, well it's mine. I want yeah. it. But I think you can't keep that in your freezer. Someone's going to accidentally take it out. I can you find know, a so place. I'd do. probably put it in, like, my brother's freezer or okay, something okay. like that. <laughs> but you're not do just doing pimples. You're doing, like, yeah. mounds and yeah. extra appendages. Like, I, a guy it's with much a... more than pimples, yeah. yeah. And it's cysts. It's lipomas. I really, it all started with anything that pops out of the skin. Uh -huh. So all of these sorts of things do. And it's just like, uh, you know, they're quite amazing. They're quite big growths, but you can do all this under local anesthesia too in the office. And it's, right. the risk is lower. And, you know, it's just, it, it's just such a gratifying thing, I think, for these patients. Yeah, the people that come in, uh, most of them seem to be kind of like sad people or they're... Yeah, and th that's something that I think the TLC show, you know, really shows is that at least it gets to show me what you know, these people have to go through. I, I don't think I see that. I, I take off a growth and then they are sent on their way. I never see what, how it affects them later. And it's really been really wonderful to watch this and to see it from their perspective. You see their personal people. growth as a result of removing yes, their I personal do. growth. Yes, I do, I do, exactly. That's, well, that's that is wonderful. lovely. <laughs> And, like, do you have, like, a dream? Like, is there something, like, do you ever look at, like... like a pimple popping take over the world? You mean that no, kind of thing? Or, like, do you look at, like, maybe you, my, my dream is to pop a zit on the president's back or anything like that? Or, uh... uh I, you know, I... No, I don't. It's you whatever don't. comes in the door. I mean, I don't want something really crazy because it's stressful, too. You want to make sure people are But for are the show, you have to have well, yes. some great stuff, yes, right? Yes, we do. And we have some pretty amazing things. I you mean, do? cysts the size of softballs, um, you know, like lipomas the size of, like, basketballs. What is a lipoma? A lipoma is a benign fatty growth under the skin. It's sort of like fat cells just grow together and create their own little utopia, you know, really? under the skin. Really? Uh -huh. uh-huh. And then it's like, a, like, could you, you, they, you can, like, it moves? Yeah, or? it moves independently. It really looks a lot like a chicken breast when you take it out. Really? Yeah, and in fact, I just got a tweet the other day from this woman who's, whose daughter, like, she's seven years old, and she's going to dress up as Dr. Pimple Popper for Halloween. She's going <laughs> to carry around a chicken breast and say it's a lipoma. What? She's going to get salmonella is what's going to yeah. happen.
<laughs> That'll be great. You got chicken in your candy. What a Halloween costume that is. Is your father delighted that you went into his line of work and have become the world's most famous pimple popper? <laughs> you know, when I, when I was doing this about five months in, I had a video that went viral on the internet. And that was the first time I told him. I didn't really tell him. I was kind of a little bit like, I didn't know what, what was going to be appropriate time to tell him about this. And so I told him at that point, you know, I have a video that went viral. And he's like, really? What, what kind of video is this? And I said, it's a blackhead extraction video. And he said, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. He thought it was like insane. So actually, what happened is the next day he went to the Apple store because he had his, he had started a YouTube channel and he kind of wanted to maybe make it something. And he said, oh. you know, my daughter has a YouTube channel and I want to see if I can post videos and have them go viral like my daughters have or something. And the, the young lady who was teaching him said, oh my gosh, I have to show you my favorite YouTube channel. And it was my channel. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. But he came back to me though. Right. I know. You taught him a lesson. And he came back to me, though, and he was serious. He put his hands on my shoulders, and he said, she said, he said, Sandra, you will never have to wait in line at the Apple store. Like, he was so <laughs> proud of that fact. You know, that was like, you know. What a beautiful, disgusting story that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to meet you. Nice <laughs> Dr. To meet Sandra you. Lee, everybody. The season finale <laughs> of Dr. Pimple Popper. God only knows what they have planned for this. Yes, it's tomorrow night at TLC, and you've been renewed yes. for a second know, season of popping. So, congratulations. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.